dear all i would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering laboratory in this session i am going to discuss probable questions on the experiment measurement of three phase power by using two wattmeter method as you can observe there are certain checklist of questions we will answer one by one first question how do you measure three phase power you can directly say that three phase power can be measured by using two wattmeter method okay it is suitable for balanced load and unbalanced load so two wattmeter method is more than sufficient to measure three phase power second question what is two wattmeter method we are going to connect two wattmeter at any two lines and uh, the total power we are providing if it is star connection we are going to provide the supply voltage of 400 volt afterwards we are providing the load then we are giving the load then we will come to know that how much power is consumed by the particular load therefore the total power consumed by the load that can be written as sum of two watt meter w1 and w2 it measure real power only that point you have to remember write down the equation for measuring three phase power you can write in two ways the first way in terms of line quantity the three phase power can be written as root 3 into vl il cos y or in terms of phase quantity 3 into v phase into i phase into cos y where cos y is known as power factor so these are the equation for three phase power it is actually called a real power only if you want to write a react a reactive power what you would do you can write q is equal to root 3 vl il sin phi or else in terms of phase quantity 3 v phase i phase into sin phi correct now then fourth question how do you calculate the power factor of a three phase load so using two watt meter method it is easy very easy to calculate power factor anyway you will be getting the reading of w1 and w2 first what you will do is you will be calculating the tan phi tan phi can be calculated using the formula root 3 into w2 minus w1 by w1 plus w2 from this you need to calculate phi phi is equal to tan inverse of root 3 into w2 minus w1 by w1 plus w2 from this you can directly take a cos phi that is nothing but cosine of tan inverse root 3 into w2 minus w1 divided by w1 plus w2 like this you can write give some examples of three phase sources and load so three phase source how to produce the three phase using alternator or three phase synchronous generator or alternator that produce three phase supply give some example of three phase load three phase load what is the best example of three phase load definitely you can write a three phase induction motor induction motor so these are the probable questions which you can expect for the experiment the measurement of three phase power by using two watt meter method here also you can expect some questions based on induction motor alternator etc because this experiment is concerning for three watt meter method sorry two watt meter method for measurement of three phase power 
also you may expect uh, like uh, what are the major components of wattmeter okay uh, so name the major components of wattmeter such as ml cv what is current coil and what is voltage coil or pressure coil some questions can be expected okay yeah so let me know if you are having any questions if you don't have any queries let me conclude the session any other queries you can put up in the comment box i am very happy to answer i would like to thank you for giving your continuous support you are my motivation so i request everyone keep supporting me thank you very much for watching this video